Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. Vacation, all I ever wanted. Vacation, had to get away. Vacation meant to be spent alone. Vacation, all I ever wanted. Vacation had to get away. Vacation meant to be spent alone with M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M-O-U-S-E. Mickey Mouse. Donald Duck. Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's enough of that. Mm, guess where I'm at? Ah! I'm at Disney World currently, but I filmed this before I left. And do you not, do you love? Like there's another pair. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So it's totally easy to say, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy. If you've never been here before, you've landed on a fabulous day. Because today is totally easy Tuesday, which is crafting for the non-crafter. And I would just encourage you to stick around, give it a shot consider subscribing and if you're one of my regulars give me a thumbs up right now boom 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 i want to know you're still watching when i'm gone because hmm. you all know i'm at disney world with those grandkids having a grand old time and i'm there it's tuesday so my guy and i are there we're waiting for the kids to show up they're going to be here later this afternoon so fun fun days ahead for us all right but it's still i still have my channel and i got you some content to make sure i could keep you busy while i was gone i don't want you going off to any other channel stick with me not gonna let you down. Okay, so that was the go-go's vacation all I ever wanted, but I can't sing the rest of the song. It's too, uh, I actually don't like the rest of the song. And I was like, I really have to do Mickey Mouse. So I thought I could time together, hence your two songs. I think that's the first time I've ever done two songs in the intro. All right, so let's see, a couple things we need to talk about. I'm at Disney, super excited. So I am hoping to do a video from Disney. I've told you guys I really don't know. So let's just, we'll just see about that. Um, uh, what else do I need to tell you about? Oh my gosh, at a thousand subscribers, we get to see my guy. So we need to start pushing for that. It's been sort of slow grow. Boom, I've got to push for some more growth. I want to get to that thousand and I'm going to do a giveaway. I'll announce what that is next week when I get back. And let's see what else. Oh, subscriber challenge. You guys, don't forget about the subscriber challenge. The subscriber challenge this month is, the theme is back to school. All you have to do is make a craft. There goes my phone. Why has it been doing it? It's not my phone though. I'm hanging up. Oh, I can't hang up. It's the airlines. Mm. I had to answer that phone call, it was the airlines. Anyway, I had a baggage question. All right, so um, where was I? Oh, I was talking about the subscriber challenge. I'm hitting my camera now. Mm, this is just a mess today, isn't it? So the subscriber challenge, and the subscriber challenge this month is back to school. The theme, just make any craft that you want that reminds you of back to school and you have until the last Saturday of the month to get me a picture of your craft that you made. And the only rule is it has to be from the Dollar Tree. And then I collect all of the pictures and whatnot and then I put it into a video. And you can tell me why you've made the craft that you made. I think that always adds so much to it if you guys give us a personal story behind it. And then just when you send it to me via my Facebook page, which is linked down below, make sure that you give me permission to use your name and the photo to make the video. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's so much fun. All right, Bella's besties. Are you guys ready to see what I did today? By the way, Effingham, what do you think about this, all this today? Hmm? Are you excited? Effingham rarely talks back to me. I just don't understand it. We're here all day together. You would think. Mm -mm. Oh, and a video. Cat. Did you guys like the one Saturday? <laughs> Shifty eyes there. All right, so today, there's not a whole bunch because obviously I was trying to get content for you guys before I left. So I had to make the Mickey ears. And since we're, look at this, I made two. So this one is for me and this one's for my granddaughter, I think. I don't know, it depends. Whichever one she wants, she can have. So we made two, I made two sets of Mickey ears. These are the headbands. They come two in a package. So 50 cents for the headbands. These are the earbud cases. You wanna know the best part about this whole thing is check this out. Check this out. 
we can store stuff in our ears. I don't know what I would store in there. Well, I mean, I could think of a lot of things, but I don't think the bottle would fit. And I don't think, like, you, you know, money maybe, but then what if you lost your ears? I don't know, but it's kind of cool, they're storage. How about just like a little thing of um, lotion or something like, oh, like a uh, sunblock, a little thing of sunblock. What else can we put in these ears? I don't know, don't say wax anybody because I will just die. Um, anyway, so they have little storage on both the ears. How sweet is that? Can I just tell you, I didn't even reckon, I didn't even think about that last night. My guy comes home and I was like, look what I made. And he goes, oh, those cute. And he goes, can you store stuff in them too? And I went, oh my gosh, yeah. Because where I glued them down was the part where the, I don't know. You know, the part where the zipper, yeah, okay, whatever, you guys get it. I think these are so cute. So, bow on the back of them, too. See, look at the bow. See my bow. Bow on the back. Bow on the back. And, yeah, they're so cute. I sent her pictures. She loved them. So, you want to see what these look like on? I think they're going to look exactly the same, by the way, except pink. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. We got ears. Okay, I'm going to take them off, though, you guys. Oh, and yeah, so, well, the hair's, whatever the hair is today. All right, so what else did I make today? Now, I, a few weeks back, made, you'll see it in the video because I actually show it, I bought those vases. There was like four different colors, and I used two of them for a boho thing, and then I, um, one of them I made like a teepee, if you guys remember that. Well, there was two other colors that were blues, and I put them in nautical or coastal because I thought I would do something with them there. But when I did the one boho, I put a tie thing around it. I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like a dress. And so I, then I told myself, I'm totally going to make one look like a lady. And I didn't have any of the strainers because the strainers are what I use for hats. So I bought one the other day and, oh, come on, check this out. It's so cute, isn't it? It just looks like a little lady. But I think it's so cute, so sweet, so simple. You know, I love simple and it is totally easy Tuesday. Um, I love this. I think it's super sweet. I'm actually probably going to put it in my cabinet with like my antique china. Just feel like it fits in there. Same thing I did with the lady vases that I did the hair on. Um, I don't know how long ago now. Anyway, you guys, I think, I think this is so cute. Uh, FYI, I put the hat on a stick. See, you'll see that in the video. Um, so that I could, yeah, put her in there and keep it where I wanted it. Isn't that cute? Look at the little embellishments on the hat. Oh, uh, and then this was a green plant, you'll see, and then I added a couple of, of color twigs and, I don't know, what do you call those? Sticks, I don't know. Anyway, so, love that. And then this was a leftover. So as I was trying to do stuff for this video, I was like, I'm just gonna go into that easy bag. Like, I have this bag where I'll just throw things or things like I should really get to this and get this craft done soon. I'm up so high, aren't I? Oh, it's because of the ears, that's why it was. And, um, oh God, the hair. Anyway, so I was like, just trying to pull stuff out of there. And this had been in there for a while. Now I made, Marilyn, weren't you my flamingo gal? And I made all this flamingo stuff and somehow this got missed. Like there was a bag that didn't get hauled or something and these were in there. So I decided to use it and make it. And can I just tell you, this came out so stinking cute. I was shocked. Now this is a pencil holder, but it's so flamingo Florida looking. And then these, the pens, which are so adorable. I love their little stuff. So this is a pencil holder. I put two pencils holder, holders together because I really like the white cap on this. This is a luggage tag. This is one of those little plants that they, in the burlap, the Dollar Tree. Anyway, stuck. It's the cutest little flamingo decor now, isn't it? I don't do flamingos, so this will be available when I get back and I do my video. It's like so cute. I think it came out, I wish I did flamingos almost because I just think it came out so cute. So there you go. And that was just like, all right, let me just use this stuff because it's been sitting here, you know, blah, 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 blah. All right, and then the last one I did for you, I thought I'm gonna do um, a craft that is something that I just hauled. So it's fresh in your memory. Wait, I'm gonna grab the other one though. It's right here. Okay, on Saturday's haul, I hauled these two. And um, one was this one and it says, home sweet home. And the other one said, love lives here. Now, this is so sad looking. Like, it's so sad looking, you guys. It's so sad. So look at how much different it looks after Amy gets done with it. Right? It, this, and this is simple. But I absolutely love this hang, hanger on here, the way I did this. 
instead of this and just adds to it this is a nice little bunching and this is all leftover greenery that's in my greenery box that's left over obviously i used furniture markers you know how i love to finish the sides on these things right so but in the video i say it while i'm talking over it is i made i slipped with my sharpie when i was outlining the sign here and then I went and got a Mr. Eraser to try and erase it, Magic Eraser, and it like removed some of the black paint, but I went with it. I love it when mistakes come out good because it's sort of aged that lives here, which gives it a good separation from the love. And I wanted that separation. And can you see, I went over with um, my black furniture marker to really enunciate the love separate from the lives. And then I did some additional sanding. This is so much better than this. And this is what I talk about with Dollar Tree. I'm like, you guys, it's upscaling. They give us really good bones and then to upscale. How much better is this? So with this one, I'm actually thinking I'm going to make it boho. I don't know when, not till I get back, obviously. But um, I'm going to add some hanging downing things on it. Hanging downing things. Yeah. Anyway, love this. I'm keeping this. Yeah, because I really like that. Okay, that's it. This isn't a super long video, you guys, but you know I was really trying to get content out to you before I left. So, and just FYI, I think, um, uh, no, I know, I'm sorry, I'm gonna tell you right now. Thursday's video is old crafts that I did that nobody's seen because there was maybe only 50 views on the video. And so there was stuff that I still had. Why am I telling you? Just watch Thursday, you'll like it. Okay, and then um, Saturday, Halloween haul, boop and foodie friday yeah i don't i don't know i'm getting all these things done right now so but anyway here's totally easy tuesday i'm at disney we're having a grand time i'm sure not yet they're not here yet but by thursday's video we'll be having a grand old time so thank you guys so much all right give me something mickey if you absolutely love my mickey ears today i did so many mickey things hats and ears and yeah mm, anyway i hope you guys really like these they were fun to make i know my granddaughter and i are gonna have fun wearing these i only made them for her and i because the boys are older i really don't think they're gonna wear mickey ears and also just something that's special just for her because she's the only girl i mean i have another granddaughter but she's only three months old four months old so and scarlet my little my beautiful red-headed granddaughter is um 14 so this is perfect. We're going to go have, we have matching shirts and then we have ears. I'm just giving her some special things because she's the only girl. All right. So you guys, thank you so much. Stick around at the end of this video. No, there's no cat video. That was, that was on Saturday, Tuesday. No, it is today. Gah! There's cats at the end of this video. I added some extra cat footage for you. Do you guys like my, did you like my cat? I already asked you this, but if you liked if you like the cat input, give me a cat right now. Do you like my voiceovers for Boji? Do. What do you want? Boj. Boj. Here he is right here, too. He always seems to come up when I'm talking about him. I think he hears me say his name. Boji. Boji, what do you want? He doesn't like me. He just doesn't. I'm going to insert footage, though, one of these days of him howling when my guy comes home. He's a guy cat. He loves... Had to throw him down. You know, he was getting upset with me. Okay, guys. Anyway, so as always, have a great day, great week, great life. And from your singing crafty crapper, crap. Can you tell I'm Russian? I'm trying to get these all done. From your singing crafty crafter. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. I'll see you back here on Thursday, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And at the end of the video, give me, did I already say what to give me? Mickey, give me something Mickey at the end of the video. Or did I say to give me a cat? I don't know. Give me whatever. Give me an emoji. Make a comment. How about we do that and make sure you thumbs up. And if you're still here and you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for watching this intro. Stick around. Please subscribe. And um, just know that we have a great time here. All right, besties. I'm going to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the video.
I'm gonna make some Mickey ears. I have two headbands, came two to a pack. I've got a set of these earbud holders and a set of these earbud holders, this ribbon to go with this one, and this blue to go with this one. And we're gonna make some, I guess they'd be mini ears because we're putting a bow on them, but for Disney. So I'm opening everything, taking off the tags and all that. And then I was trying to check out my distance on the ears. Like, where should they be? It's kind of, they kind of look good either way. So there's the one spot um, that doesn't have zipper on it, which is where I glued it down. And I used some tacky glue and hot glue. And I ended up like adding hot glue on the front and the back. There we go. There it is on the front. And I do it on the back later too. And then I go to make the bow. And I decided this is a one-sided ribbon, and it really looked better not being a one-sided ribbon. So I just folded it in half and used, actually ended up using the tacky glue just to make it two-sided. And um, it worked totally fine. And then after I let that sit and dry for a little bit, so I went and worked on the other ears while I was doing that. And so then I just take them apart and get them situated, start to glue them on to... See, I used the other ones to double check. At least they'd both look the same, even if they weren't right. <laughs> um, those just look like psychedelic eyeballs on top of this, these mini ears. But <laughs> they're super cute. And um, so I got those glued on. And afterwards, I took a black Sharpie to cover up the glue. Works perfect. So you can't see it. Then I go to make my ribbon. And so now it's two-sided. And I just did a twist and loop one. Did it a couple of times, just I wanted it to look a certain way. And I used all of that ribbon because, of course, I'd already put it in half, if that makes sense. Then I got a wire to twist it all together because it's pretty thick. Use that wire to attach it onto the headband so it wired through the center of that bow. Worked great. And um, then I got a matching ribbon, which was like a neon sort of yellowish ribbon to use to cover up the wire that was on there. And I'm trying to remember if I show it on the video, I actually put a bow on the back of the ears too, just a single like um, shoestring bow. So there I just looped this yellow through. It matched so perfectly. Um, you said it's hot glue and tacky glue. And then again, I'm just making sure we're glued on fairly well. And now I'm gonna go on to this blue ribbon. I don't think I showed it, but I did put a yellow finger tie bow on the back of the ears. I should include a picture for that. Um, and then now I'm working on the blue one. So the blue was a little bit different because now this ribbon isn't as strong as the two-sided ribbon. I did not use a wire on this one. I just tied it on with the tails. So I did this two different ways. Both of them worked fine. Um, and then um, this one, I didn't use another color ribbon. Oh yeah, that's right. I made a second part to the back of this bow because I felt like it needed a few more loops. So I did do a second bow. I want to say there was like nine loops on the blue one and only like seven on the multicolored one, but that's just the thickness of the ribbon. You can do it however you want. And then um, now I'm going to loop through, yep, with some of the blue ribbon to cover up where we tied it on. And then I do think I showed you I put a finger bow on the back of this one. I'm hoping. Anyway, the only reason I put a finger bow on the back or like a tennis shoe tie bow is just to cover up um, the back side. There we go. See right there. I do show it. Thank goodness. And that was just to cover up the little thing in the back so it looked just looked more complete. And then on the back side, on your head, it looks really cute as well. Which that showed you that you could have just done a single bow on these and it would have looked really cute. Anyway, I love these. They're adorable. I sent a picture of my granddaughter. I don't know which one she wants yet. But she'll have one. I'll have the other. I'm going to make this vase look like a lady. So a couple of weeks ago, I did this with one of these vases. And when I tied this on there, it was boho. And I was like, it looks like a dress. And so I knew I had two more of these that I put in nautical stuff. 
And I grabbed one out because now I'm going to make it look like a lady. And I'm going to do it using one of these little bushes, I think, um, a mesh strainer for a hat and some um, diamond wrap. And hopefully it comes out the way I'm envisioning it. <laughs> I start uh, just opening up that plant there and figuring it out. I did not. I cut off some of the foam on it. And then just cut around to put like a cinched waist belt on here and I'm looking at how the bush fits in there and then I gave it like a little bow on the belt I just cut it and put it together pushed push it together in the middle and then hot glued that on there and then I went to making the hat so I wrapped the sparkly diamond stuff around the hat like on the brim of the hat and then was trying to see how that was going to fit in there. I got this other little bush. I wanted to add a little bit of color in there because I want to put some um, little flowers on the hat. And so I just added some. These are this is it. I just hauled this pick right here, but there were small little buds. It was super cute. It worked out great. And you see, I just put a few in the bushes. Now I'm going to put the hat in with the stick so that I can glue it so it doesn't move. So I just markered that the top part of the stick with the grain so that it would sit in there then i tried to hot glue this let me tell you the hot glue did not work and i i played with it played with it played with it hot glue doesn't work on that metal mesh so in the end i added um tacky glue and let it sit and that worked now i'm just adding a little decided it needed a little tail on the dress the belt of the bow thing there and i just thought that made it look I don't know, just a little more complete. And then that was it. This was done. All right, so this one is just silly but easy. So I have this pink pencil holder and this white one, but I think they look really good when I cap that with the white. And I have a luggage tag and I have these flamingo pens. So this is just a silly gift, I think is what I would do is gift it to somebody. So I'm just gonna attach the luggage tag onto here, I think, and then put the pens in it and attach these two together. So simple, but I think it's gonna be really cute. First, I'm just adding glue on the corners of the white pencil holder and putting it down there and that glued it in there perfectly. Now I'm trying to separate the tag, this luggage tag. I'm gonna tell you what I did was throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then it separated pretty easily there using my knife. Now I'm going to cut off the top part of that and ended up just using the and folding it over and using that as a guide so that I would get the rounded corners on it. That worked perfectly. That coloring book's open because I thought about mod podging on these flowers on the vase. I I wrote in the pencil holder, I didn't in the end. Although I kind of make this a vase actually. So vase is probably the right thing to say. And then take tags off all these super cute flamingos, which I bought for the flamingo project, but never made it to it when I did flamingos. And I just didn't want them to go to waste. So now this is the best part. I take this pencil holder. I add this fern green plant thing, stick these in, and now it comes out super cute. I actually think this is adorable. This is, um, I just hauled this, and it's a love song. It's so sad, though. It, like, really needs a lot of love. So I've got some, like, strings, and I have my bucket full of my random greens. I really like these leaves on it. I think this color is really good. And also, I grabbed a couple of the decorative little balls to, I don't know. We'll see. Um, you know, I won't know until I get started how it's going to come out. So we're just going to redecorate it. I'm not doing anything too difficult. But just as an idea, you could totally boho this by throwing some strings down below. Um, I might do that with the other one that says Home Sweet Home. This one I'm going to do really simple. First, I've got to deconstruct it. Um, and it just took a little bit of prying to get everything off of there, including the, the tag on the back. <laughs> and then just removing all the staples 
and that I don't understand that one piece of greenery just stapled on there like that but okay so after I do that I also remove the strings I know I'm not gonna leave that on as the hanger I'm gonna do my own hanger on there so now I'm gonna take furniture markers I used oak on the outside of it and then on the inside of the ring as well so oak on the ring part of it then on the sign that says love lives here just so you know i used black just on the bottom and the top of that sign but i think i show you where i mess up and or do i yep i was doing the the black and i slipped and got it on there so then i ended up sanding and i loved how the life uh, lives here it was with the Mr. Clean, believe it or not. It took off some of the paint and made it look aged, and then I went for it. Then around the love, I'm using maple. So I used oak on the round part, maple on the love, and black on the sign part. I hope that all makes sense. And then when I did the love, I took a black marker then and really went over the love part. I was trying to define love from the Lives Here banner. And so that's why I did some sanding on that. I think you guys see that. Here we go. I'm really trying to define the love. So this is the black furniture marker. And I'm just going over the love, trying to get it darker than the lives here. And now I'm going to sand the edges of the lives here just so it has a little more um, vintage vibe on it. Talk about taking this thing from one level to the next. Now I just did the loop tie on there. I'm going to add my greenery in, and this is leftover greenery, so I'm removing the stuff on the bottom so I can just glue it on there. And then I found some other picks that I really liked. They're part of another pick. They were leftovers, but they have sort of a very, um, I don't know, like cactus feel to them. I'm not sure. So I ended up gluing down a couple of leaves right here, and then I put those, those parts on and tied those on so that they're just tight on there. And then I have the element of the string down there. I cut apart two of these leaves. I've done this before where I run bead down the middle of the leaf and then I pinch it. And then I tied this, gave it a knot, then went up to the top. And um, all I did was loop knot that there and then tie knots on the tails. And that was it, it was done. This looks so much better. I love this piece now. And it was awful before. Say, Mom. Freddy. Mom? Mom. 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 Say it again. Say, Mom. Friday. Say, Mom. I know you just want me to pet you. Like, okay, here we go. Jovical. Say, Mom. Say, Mom. He's upset because I'm sitting on my bed answering all my YouTube comments and he wants some attention, don't you? Friday, say mom. Mom. There he comes again. Say mom. Mom. Okay, don't say mom. Say mom. Mom. Look at you, you're such a lover. Say mom. Friday, say mom. Mom. Say, Mom. Say, Mom. Look, he's like, he holds my hand. He's going to kiss me. Say, Mom. Okay, I know. I'll pay you some attention. Hey, Friday. Hey, Friday. Baby, are you sleeping? Friday. Are you sound asleep? Look at those fangs hanging out. Ah. <sniffs> <sniffs>